the MetaQuest 2. It's a great device. I've had one for about two years now. I'm going to tell you my story. I have to say there's some top secret information here. Why? Because, well, I figured it out on my own and don't think anyone knows about this fix yet. I spent a week trying suggestions from Reddit, the community forums, even Meta support. All I learned was that this seems to be a common problem and there are a lot of frustrated users out there. So I hope it works for you and gets you back online. Just a quick disclaimer that anything I say here, you can do it at your own risk. I'm not responsible for any damage. First, my headset would no longer allow me to purchase anything from the Meta store. It was giving me an error and not even free downloads were working. Second, it was no longer connecting with the MetaQuest app on my phone. This led me to perform the frequently suggested factory reset from the headset itself. I was thinking this was going to solve my problem. Was I wrong? After the factory reset, my phone was still showing the headset but still couldn't connect. Now the headset was acting like it was brand new and would let me get all the way through the initial configuration all the way to the screen saying it needed to be paired. The code was there but every time I tried to pair the app would say unable to connect to your headset. To make matters worse there was no way of deleting the headset from the mobile app or even the MetaQuest devices page due to an unknown error that kept popping up. So now not only couldn't I buy apps I was left with an expensive paperweight. I tried everything. All the suggestions you see out there nothing worked for me. I must have factory reset and seen that welcome animation 50 times after taking some much needed breaks to cool off and we're talking days here I told myself I'm not going to give up there has to be a way it turns out there is some software you can download called MetaQuest developer hub that works on Windows or Mac you need to have a computer with Bluetooth for this fix another thing is you should sign in with the same account that you had linked to your quest that's how I did it I also had to create a developer organization as requested by the software but compared to everything else that was a piece of cake when you install this software and set up your headset, it will pair with the headset and get the headset functional again. I'm guessing the software has a more robust pairing feature than the phone app and is able to bypass whatever hiccup was preventing the pairing. It worked for me and I hope it works for you too. So please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.